everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be a What's in Emily's Easter Basket video. Now, today's Easter Basket video is in collaboration with Abby from Rooted in Rest. She is going to be sharing what is in her kids' Easter baskets, and she has four from toddlers to tweens, boys, and girls. So if I don't have you covered, she definitely will. So after you finish watching this video, make sure you hop over to her channel and see all of the amazing goodies that she's gifting her kids for Easter. Every year I try to do a themed basket. I don't know what it is, but I am all about the themes. If you're new here, just so you know, that's your warning. I'm all about the themes. And if you're not new here, it probably doesn't surprise you. I am a themed gift giver. We theme our morning baskets every year. We are a unit study kind of homeschool family. Themes make me and our whole family happy. I don't know why, it's just who I am. So if you wanna check out some of our past Easter baskets, you can do that right here on the Eye in the Sky where we have done a nature themed basket and a ready for summer Easter basket. Those were the past two years of Easter baskets that Emily had. Now, this year's theme is a just add water theme. We live in Florida and Easter means springtime, which means summer is quickly on the horizon. And that means being outdoors more. And here in Florida, you are not gonna be outdoors unless there is water involved. Sprinklers, pools, beach, you name it, but we're not gonna be there unless there's water. So I thought it would be kind of fun to put together a just add water Easter basket where everything was pretty much water related in one sense or the other. So the first thing I did was pick out games, surprise, surprise. And the first game we have is the waterproof version of Spot It. Spot It is one of our absolute favorites and I'm thrilled to have a version that is waterproof. That means we can play it poolside, we can take it to the beach, anything we want and we don't have to worry about the cards being destructed. Along those same lines, I also grabbed the Uno Splash. So it is waterproof too. You can go anywhere with it. It has like a little clip to make it convenient to carry with you. And again, they are waterproof. So we can play them poolside at the beach, throw them in our beach bag or pool bag. So I just thought that those were really, really great Easter basket, summer on the horizon kinds of gifts. I also added in a magic painting book because all you need for one of these is water. This one I have actually had put up for Emily. It is the Unworry Magic Painting Book from Usborne. Some of the pages are just absolutely gorgeous. I'll be honest, I kind of wanna order one of these for myself, you guys, because it does look so relaxing. I also grabbed some water beads for her. Water beads have been a long time favorite around here, especially in the spring and the summer when we can take them outside and we don't have to worry about them making a mess in the house. Of course, I had to throw some education in there, so I grabbed a few science kits. This one is by National Geographic. It is Science Magic Hydrophobic Substances. So I'm very excited for all of the things that it includes. And then when I told Kevin that our plans were just add water, he immediately said, well, I've always wanted a rock water powered rocket. So we grabbed one of those to add in there for him slash her. So we got the water powered rocket science kit set. So he is excited to do that with her on one of their daddy steam days. The a bunch of balloon water balloons are something that have been in her Easter basket for the past few years. They have become a favorite. We use them all of the time in the summer. It's one of our favorite things to do is have a water balloon fights. And these make it so easy because you can fill 100 balloons in less than one minute. So if you are a family who likes water balloon fights, these are amazing and you should add them to your must have list for whatever you wanna buy them for. And then the last thing I grabbed was a Barbie color reveal mermaid. I thought this would be kind of a fun toy for her to have something a little more, you know, on the fun side, since I did get kind of um, a handful of educational things, I wanted her to have something more fun. So this is what we got. You add water and it reveals its colors. It looks like there's seven surprises inside. I have never owned one of these. I have no clue, but it looked like something that you would just add water to that she would have fun with. And it could probably go in the pool since it has to be wet to reveal the color anyway. I thought that would be a good thing for that. 
Now that you have seen what is in Emily's Easter basket, if you need even more Easter basket ideas, head to the link in the description box down below. I have a blog post with five themed Easter basket ideas. The, all the links for this Easter basket are there as well as four others. If you're interested in a beach theme, a backyard theme, survival theme, or garden theme, I've got you covered. I even have ways to ditch the basket and put it in something just a little more useful there. So make sure you head there to get even more Easter ideas. Don't forget to go over to Abby's channel to watch what's in her kids Easter basket. And I would love it if you'd tell me in the comments down below what you're putting in your kids Easter basket because we could all use the ideas.